Bumblebee, 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 Bumblebee. <laughs> I don't really do all that before each video. <clears throat> How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games and another Daz Watches. That's right, two in quick succession. What a rarity, I know. Love. It comes in many forms, shapes, sizes. I'm a firm believer in that you can't control the feeling of love. Once you're in love, you're doomed. Can't do shit about it. Sometimes you don't even know why you're in love. You're thinking, what the f did I see in that person? But I love you, I love you. I'm gonna touch your face. Like these, for instance. Some say that you cannot fall in love with a pair of scissors. Others, like the lady in today's video, say you can. Today we're gonna be watching a video called In Love with a Chandelier. Objectum sexuality. Objectum. Apparently that's a mental state where people uh, are in love with things like bridges and cars and we've reacted to similar videos in the past. Nothing like this. In some weird way, I can kind of wrap my head around how you'd make love to a car. I don't know how you'd make love to a chandelier. It's up on the ceiling. What, what are you gonna do? You gonna get a ladder? Let's find out together as we dive in. Let's watch the video! By the way, your boy looking particularly good today. Just saying. A woman who's engaged to the light of her life. Ha <laughs> ha! Funny joke because it's a light. Get it? What a pun. I don't think my relationship is outrageous. Oh. It's just a light fitting. What's weird about that? It's, it's normal to me. Did she just suck off that chandelier? Oh, my watch went off. What's it saying? Keep it going. No! I don't want to speak to you. I've got a new fucking eye watch and I... It's telling me to do everything. All right, go away. Closed your rings yesterday. Excuse me? Nice job, Daz. Stay in the groove today. What ring did I close? I closed no rings. I didn't close shit. Oh, it means my exercise rings. <laughs> Sorry, I'm watching this and then this is going... It, it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. It's like, move, you're moving too much. Maybe take a break, maybe have some food. Maybe burn some off. Fuck! It's like having a wife on your wrist. <laughs> fucking thing. Anyway. Meet Amanda Liberty from the UK. No. Who's an objectum sexual, which means she's attracted to objects and not people. To be honest, um, with what I've dated, <laughs> I'm surprised I'm not married to my watch at this point. I first fell in love with an object when I was about 14 years old. Really? That young? What, what, what was that? And this was my drum kit. To be honest, I had a drum kit. I was a drummer. Yeah, I was in a band. Yeah. What of it? What, am I suddenly more hotter now that you know I'm in a band? I can play guitar. I rock that shit. I love my drum kit. I wasn't really allowed to play it though, because my mum was like, it's too loud. I'm like... Why'd you get me a drum kit then? You may as well get me a pillow to play. If I tried to explain it to other people, which I did, some people just said, oh, it's wrong. Or it's not wrong, you know? A drum kit doesn't complain, doesn't fucking cheat, doesn't look at some other guy's ass, and it doesn't abuse you. You actually can abuse it and it never complains. It's like, play me harder. <laughs> and the object of her desire soon turned from her drum kit to the Statue of Liberty. Wow, poor drum kit. Can't even compete. She stopped tapping the drum kit and wanted to tap the United States Monument. To be honest, Lady Liberty, I will say this, um, she's, she's smoking hot. I just want to know what's underneath all those layers. <laughs> I can't do it. Do you want to know what's in that book? Right there? It's my number. <laughs> and I just felt this immediate connection with her. I love you. Wait, aren't you with the chandelier? Isn't that kind of disrespectful? See, even in this world, right, where people are in love with a calculator, they still fucking cheat! Can't stay to one inanimate object at a time, they gotta find something else. Oh, there's a pencil. Bye. <laughs> True love does not exist. What was that? What, what was she doing to her neck? Is that the secret? Is that what is that what women like? Wait till wait till I see my girlfriend next. I'm gonna I'm just gonna go up to her. I'm gonna go and see see what she says. She'll probably smack me. Amanda has travelled to the US six times to gaze longingly at the 93 meter. Stop! Run! 
flubbing it! Fuck! Look, she's in front of a window as well. Can you imagine being on the pavement watching this woman rob the Statue, Statue of Liberty? She's kind of like a motherly figure, as in she just wanted to look after you. Ah, yes. There's the, there's the inner problem with this. Enough affection growing up, maybe. I see. See, because I find it weird that a lot of girls, apparently this is true, without even knowing it, they look for a lot of qualities that they find in their dad, in a partner. <coughs> listen, listen, no. 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 I've never been a fan of the whole daddy fetish. We know this. I hate it. It's weird. Do right by you and this beautiful symbol of everything good in life. Imagine if Toy Story was real and that poor fucking statue comes to life when she leaves the room after being caressed. All the other little liberties are like saying, you think you've got problems? We can fit places. <laughs> to show her commitment to Libby, Amanda changed her surname by Deepol. Jesus Christ. If someone actually dated this woman and you came back to this living room, it's like an encyclopedia of red flags. Wow. To Liberty. Yeah, all right, sweet. The chandelier's watching this. It's hanging from the ceiling going, fucking bitch. That's, that's my impression of a chandelier, right? <laughs> but a few years ago, her head was turned when she fell head over heels with a chandelier. Why she got so many of them then? Look, look at me acting triggered that she's cheating on objects. I always miss the point. Came as a complete shock and a surprise. That you fell for a light fixture, yeah. Yeah, I don't think anyone else here is shocked. When I first saw Lumia online, it was definitely love at first sight. But at the same time, I didn't think I would be able to have her. Why? It's the joy about chandeliers, they won't say no. Just because of her being in Germany and I just thought it would be impossible to get her, but... Yeah, yeah. Long distance is hard. But, unlike girlfriends, you can ship it to you. It's a it's a chandelier. Yeah, it's almost like in her head she's living out this fantasy as if they're real. You could just ship it. Try shipping it. Amanda had the ninety-one year old chandelier. Look at the dust on it, and she's licking it. Ah! ah! I hope she polishes it before she does stuff with it. Look at look at it. Look at it. There's an inch of dust all over it. My girlfriend came downstairs covered in dust. I fucking I dust her is what I'm trying to say. She's really elegant and graceful. And she's really gentle, and she's just really... Oh, thank God, she dusts it. What, what am I saying? What am I saying? It doesn't matter if she dusts it before making out with it. She's making out with it. I love cleaning her ball. It's my favourite part to clean on a chandelier. <gasps> oh, God. Ah, Jesus! I love cleaning. Love it. Not like this. She's fussy woman. She's more fussy than I am. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what to feel. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. This feels so good. The cameraman is literally like... Although she loves all chandeliers. I want to die. I want to die. Oh, Lord. And it felt so right to me. So, serious question. When they get married, whether it be in their head or actually legally, do they have to divorce the last object? I, I'm, I'm genuinely intrigued. But first, she needed someone else's blessing. Oh, there you go. Here it comes. I went to Libby first and I said, you know, are you all right with this? But I was waiting for her energy, you know, and she gave me good energy, like... I don't know, that stare says a, a lot, you know. She's literally looking at you like, touch that chandelier and I'm going to snatch your snatch off, bitch. <laughs> La Lady Liberty doesn't look happy with this. I put a ring on the finial and I was the happiest. Aww. 
That's kind of cute. Even though that ring looked like she found it in a well. Was it so rusty? But cute. Do you know what, though? I've been in relationships with real people. And they haven't put half the amount of effort in that this woman does to this fucking chandelier. It's depressing. It's genuinely depressing. With her vows, I'm gonna tell Lumia how much I love her. What's Lumia's vows gonna be? <laughs> and what she means to me and what she does for me and vow that I'm going to always love her in my life and she'll always be a part of my life as long as I've got her in my body. That wasn't, that wasn't necessary, was it? That last sound effect. Fuck's sake. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> That's gonna be my text tone. Well, again, I've always said it, I'll say it again. If you're not hurting anybody, knock yourself out. Although I don't know what she's gonna do uh, when the energy crisis gets worse and she can't afford to turn Lumiere on. That might be a drastic day. Might wanna pick a partner that doesn't require power. That's what I'm saying. And you know what? With her fluctuating from drums to Lady Liberty to chandeliers. I mean, look, she's in love with this one, but she's bought 50 others. What's that say? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think she's faithful. I think she's going to cheat on that chandelier. With what? Who knows? Well, guys, uh, thank you for watching an old lady suck off a chandelier with me. <laughs> It's been real. It's been real. Love it. Love it. Love it here. Like, love, caress my channel. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay dazzling.